The final stage of the Tour de Yorkshire started in a town renowned for sculpture, Wakefield. Ahead of the riders, 164 kilometres of strength-sapping riding over some of the toughest climbs in the region, including Home Firth and the Cowan Calf, before a fast but rolling ride to the site of the Grand Depart of the Tour de France in 2014, Leeds. As the race was started by Tour de France stage winner Brian Robinson, leader Lars Petter Nordig of Team Sky had a slender advantage of 10 seconds over Beijing Olympic champion Samuel Sanchez and Maya Jean of the Tour de France, Thomas Vorkler. An early break of seven riders formed and grew their lead to almost five minutes. Team Sky remained calm with Lars Petter Nordig in the blue leader's jersey near the front. With some steep climbs ahead in the second part of the race, the leading group split and 23-year-old American Lawson Craddock of Giant Alpecin decided to go solo. He was joined by Nicholas Ede of Cofidis, who clinched enough points to win the pink King of the Mountains jersey. The scale of the crowds was breathtaking. Bradley Wiggins signalled there had been no flat roads. Later in the stage, Craddock again went clear. Norder clinched an important one-second time bonus. At times, it looked like Craddock might hold on to win the stage. But with leads appearing over the horizon, Ben Hermans of BMC sprung clear of the pack. He charged along with urgency, catching the lone leader and attacking him. Hermans raced on looking for his second win of the season. Behind, the chase was good, but Hermans was better. He drove up the final rise of the day into Round Hay Park in Leeds with enough time to sit up and be greeted to the stage win by a huge crowd. <laughs> Lars Petter Nordig sprinted in to win the race overall. A great day for the Norwegian. Today was just amazing. Uh, it was like a, a Tour de France stage with the spectators. It was it was unbelievable, and uh, how the team also rolled. I, it was a really big day. It was uh, it was great.